So here we have a hamster cage slash guinea pig cage, I believe. You could use it for guinea pigs, I'm not sure. But I bought this on Amazon and it has a storage cabinet inside, which is really, really huge. And the reason why we got this is because it had the cabinet. So I don't have to worry about like finding a table for a cage. But anyway, this is really, really large. And this is our setup. We didn't get the hamster yet. We're going to get the hamster today. So we wanted to set everything up for him. We think we're going to get a boy. A Syrian, Syrian hamster. So over here we have, so a lot of this stuff I purchased, I think actually most of this stuff I purchased on Amazon. And I'll link everything below. Um, this area is so cute. It's like a playground made out of wood. It has two levels. And then, of course, like I added stuff. This right here is a terrarium that you can hang. Like It's plastic and it has a hole in it. And I put some moss. And this I purchased at the Dollar Tree for only a dollar. As well as this little tiny vase down here that we're going to use as a sand bath. This is a glass pan that I had already that we're not using. And I put cocoa peat in it. This is a coconut house. And then I have like lots of flowers and greens that came in a box from Amazon. And we already had this. I think I, I think you can get this at Walmart. And then of course over here I have the Night Angel wheel. This is a huge one. I think it's a 12 inch, I'm not sure, for a large hamster. And then I got this Night Angel water bottle, which I picked clear because I didn't want the wood one, which I love the wood one, but I didn't want it to get ruined and like wet. And then this is going to be for like food, but we're going to do like, uh, you know, where we throw the food around as well. And, um, but we wanted to put some food there as well. This stand is a Night Angel stand to hold the wheel. And then this is a Night Angel, um, stairs. I don't know what you call it. I think it's stairs. And then um, there's a couple, there was like a three pack of these bendy bridges that I bought. So I have one down here using as a, a divider. And then this one is like kind of like a fence, like an entrance. And then there's a long one, which I didn't install in here because it was too big. Then over here, this came as a set. It actually came with a seesaw too, but, and a swing, but we didn't put it in here. Um, so we have a little rainbow bridge. We might move this to kind of like cross over like to this area from the house. So this is like a little house. And then I also have this um, litter box. This is really good. We had a different hamster that passed away um, that loved using one of these. I got another one. This one's larger. So I get the large size because the other one was kind of like a tight squeeze. So this is a really good litter box. And I have different sand in there. I believe I have the Night Angel Desert Sand. And she used to love going to the bathroom in that one. And she would never go, like if I put this type of sand which is a different brand I'll link everything below but she wouldn't go to the bathroom in this one so I figured this will be like a bath sand sand bath and then that'll be the litter box sand so we'll see how the new hamster likes it if they will also do the same thing that my other hamster did and then the rest is the Katie uh cozy I believe it's called bedding which is also I purchased on Amazon uh I did one pack of it you can see, you can. I could probably add more, but this is, I'm storing it in the here. So it's the clean and cozy. And I think it's, how many liters is this? I don't even remember. Um, I don't remember. I think I got two 50 liters. This might be a 50 liter. And I got two 50 liters for like $35. And then of course under here, this is where I have some items. Um, This is, I bought this Dr. Dr. Doodoo. Yep, that's a brand. Forest moss for hamsters. So I put that throughout the cage as well, like right there, like you could see, just for decoration, just in case the hamster likes it. I thought that looked so cute. It really adds to the cage. And what else? Um, This is the box. This is the box of the, it says bedding decor, but um, it's floral. Yeah, this one was the... I think the green. I also have, I had birds. I used to have parakeets. And so I kept this also by Katie. I put some of that in there. But yeah, it came with this big box of all these floral and grains. And um, yeah, variety. And they're all labeled. And I just took out a few of each so that I can still refresh the cage with some in the future. And then what else? 
This is the this is the cocoa peat that I bought. The Night Angel brand. Premium cocoa peat. So I got this and look, I only use a little bit. Just for the little for this area right here. I didn't want it to, I didn't know how I was gonna use it yet. And then yeah. And I have like the sand in a bag, which let me take it out. So this is the one that my hamster previously, my previous hamster, would not go to the bathroom in. And it's the Recta Sand, which is highly recommended. It's a lighter color. And my hamster would not go to the bathroom in this. Um, only would bathe in it. And then she started going to the bathroom in the in the bedding. So I still had um, this the Desert Sand from Night Angel. And I put this. And then I was mixing it, but she was very picky, so... So yeah, I have some of this still for the litter box. So I'm going to try that. But yeah, this is the way it looks. This cage is really cool. It has um, plexiglass, so there's no actual glass. And it's it's thin. It's not it's not thick, so it can't like really... I mean, I guess it could crack like if you hit it with something. But it's more like flexible kind of acrylic. And there's air holes all around, like on the sides, in case you're wondering. And there's air holes over there, like slits. Over there, and then also up here in the wood part, and it's extremely like heavy duty. It took me by myself two and a half hours to put it together, and look how big the inside of the cabinets are. So it's really really nice, and we'll probably do an update once we get the hamster. Maybe I'll do like a little, you know, I'll show you the hamster inside and see how he. I think it's going to be a he um, is doing. So okay, thanks for watching. Please leave me any comments down below with any questions that you have or anything that's helpful. Thank you.